Good morning. Good morning. It is Monday, April 12th. We're talking today about you are valuable from Romans chapter 5, verse 8, where it says God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. And that comes from, again, Matt, or Romans chapter 5, verse 8. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we just thank you that you love us so much, that we are valuable in your eyes, and that we have a purpose, that you have called us. Yes. And I just thank you, Lord, for just your love for us and all that you've done for us. Help us to walk in victory today and uh, help us to have ears to hear from you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, talking about you are valuable from Romans chapter 5, verse 8. Good morning, Steve. Good to have you with us this morning. Thanks for all of you jumping on. Susan, good to see you this morning again. Talking about you are valuable, it says, I once saw an illustration in a church service that profoundly affected me. <clears throat> the speaker held up a brand new, crisp $100 bill and asked the congregation if anyone wanted it. Of course, everyone did. The speaker then scrunched up the bill and jumped on it. He held it up again and asked who wanted it. Again, everyone did. Then he told us that the $100 bill had been stolen, used to buy drugs, and used to pay for sex with a prostitute. Then he asked if anyone still wanted it. Undaunted, everyone did because they understood that the value of money is not undermined by what it experiences or how it looks. Its value is determined by the government that printed the bill. You're just like the $100 bill. Regardless of your history, regardless of all you've been through, God will always want you. He sees you just the way he made you, beautifully, wonderfully, and full of great value. Thank you, Lord, that you see me as valuable. Thank you for sh shedding your blood on the cross for me. I know that because you love me, the truth sets me free. Amen. Morning, Tracy. Amen. What awesome. It is a, a devotion. powerful devotion. <clears throat> and you know, uh, <clears throat> I've seen this before or heard this before to think about how valuable we are. And no matter what we've been through or what we, you know, may look like or, um, you know, our sins, God still loves us and we are valuable. <laughs> I would say that, you know, we're even more valuable than money because money isn't. Oh, yeah. It isn't uh, as valuable as it should be. <laughs> no. <laughs> but, you know, what God has done for us shows us how valuable we are to him. Amen. And never forget that because I know the enemy will come and he will try to beat you up and make you feel less than. And that's that's his job. Mm -hmm. and, and he does it very, very well. And But God puts value on you. If you get into his word, I mean, go to, go to Psalm 139. Many people know that passage, but Psalm 139 talks about how that you are wonderfully and beautifully made and created, and, and God puts you together in your mother's womb. And before one day of your life even started in the, in the, in the, out of the womb, he already had plans for you. And so from the very beginning, you're valuable. And that goes that, goes that while you're still in the womb, so while you're still in the womb, you are alive, you are valuable, and God has plans for you. Mm -hmm. And you are not just tissue. And when you come out, no matter what anybody says about you, whether they say that all those unkind words, you are beautifully and wonderfully made, and God has plans for you. If he has every hair on your head numbered, you are important and That's you right. are valued. That's right. That's right. So powerful, powerful illustration. It's, it doesn't, there's nothing you could add to that. It's, it's awesome. Yeah. So let's pray. Father, we thank you for today. Thank you, God, that you have made us and we are valuable and we are wonderful and you have plans for us. And it doesn't matter where we are at in life, what we've been through in life, God, you still love us and you care for us. And, and you call us. You call us to yourself. You chase after us even when we're running from you. And even as Isaiah 53 talks about, I mean, we have become like sheep that have been led astray. 
at some point in our lives, if we're not there now, we have become sheep that have been led astray and we've all gone to our own way. But God, you love us so much that you care for us, you run after us, you chase after us, you draw us to yourself because in you is life, in you is joy and peace and grace and mercy and forgiveness and on and on are those good things that you have given to us and you call us to. So I pray today that as we listen to this devotion, we partake in it, Lord, that you would bless those who would listen, that they would hear the call, that you are calling them and loving them, and that you have great things for them, and they are wonderful. Bless your people today, and we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Good to be with you guys this morning. Good morning, Rita. Good morning, Susan. I see a bunch jumping on. We appreciate having you. We love you guys. And we pray that you guys have an incredible start of the week here on this Monday. Remember, keep your eyes on Jesus. Keep Amen. looking up because God is in control and he loves you very much. Amen. Amen. God bless. We'll see you tomorrow.